We'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this country, the Bandai people. The White family purchased Ball Blair in 1898. Sam White, my husband and his family, have been here for a couple of generations now. And Sam and Abbott and Arthur and I really appreciate the opportunity to be the custodians of this country now for this short period of time that we'll be here and acknowledge the work of, of the previous generations. I think the, the White family have always appreciated, you know, this beautiful uh, Ball Blair Lagoon and it's certainly part of our life here. Ball Blair is 3,000 acres. Sam and I and our team manage 6,000 acres and so we have an Angus stud operation, so a seed stock herd and then also a commercial herd. We also have sheep and we also have a farm stay. Kelly's Cottage, which is sort of located in the heart of Ball Blair and, and that's a wonderful opportunity to share our property with visitors and family and extended family and people that grew up here at Ball Blair and it's wonderful to take people on a farm tour and down to the lagoons and, and share the, the bird life and also educate them on where their food and fibre come from. There was an article in the Gyra Guardian. The headline says the gayest day on the Ball Blair Lagoon and uh, it was a wonderful community event and people still talk about it now. work very hard on looking after our country and, and maintaining our resource base. So we're very conscious of looking after our waterways and, and the lagoon is, is one aspect of that and also the Kalora Lagoon. So we're very appreciative of funding from land care to fence off the Kalora Lagoon. We've certainly reaped the rewards with the number of swans nesting there and the bird life there. It's really quite magnificent. Well, I remember on Christmas Day 2019 and Sam and Abbott had been out feeding our livestock and then it started to rain. <laughs> so that was pretty significant and it rained for um, January and February and the lagoon field. So yeah, pretty big day. Sam's counted up to 250 black swans on the Ball Blair Lagoon. It is extraordinary. It's difficult to count the number of ducks. And when we camp down there, the, the sound in the morning is just extraordinary as they fly across the water. It's really amazing. Yeah.